It is D-Day for Broncos and Dolphins. What a game this is, given the circumstances, the significance of the result and the rivalry. But it, it's all about the coaches, isn't it? Wayne Bennett taking on Kevin Walters. Mm. Who's under more pressure? Who needs this more than the other? Both men are under pressure. Look, Kevy's been under pressure all year and we've sat there and we've, we've spoken about the fact that the Broncos have gone from last year's grand final to on the verge of missing the eight and now they've fought back again. I can't exclude the fact Wayne's under huge pressure going into this game. For him, it would be personal. He, he was sent packing from the club. It was a very bitter divorce. Um, he, he has held resentment against the club for what happened back then. Mm. And, and he won't come out and say this, but he would like nothing more, not nothing <laughs> more <laughs> than to beat the Broncos in this game. And you know what, like, the flags that are up around, so when you're in Brisbane now, you know it's a rugby league city, there's dolphins everywhere, it's on the radio every day, put your fins up, the Broncos flags are over every sign, this is our house. Mm. So I think players too, I think the players are under a lot of pressure. You saw Tony Stakes last year, it went down to the wire, he scores right in the far corner, this is our house. So I think everybody's under the pump. Would Kevy take it personal too? Oh, I think it, yeah, yeah, calls the look, same way. I think Hill. coaches do. Yeah, there's no doubt. There's no doubt Kevy would want to get one over yeah. Wayne. There's no doubt. But I reckon Wayne over the club more because there's a there's a bit more bad blood. And there. I also think Wayne, look, if, if he was being completely honest with himself, like I don't necessarily agree with Buzz's um, belief that Wayne should have stood down from the job. But I, I think if, if if Wayne was looking at the record this year and the fact that they have lost nine of their last 12 games. And, and while I, I wouldn't say that the, the team's not playing for him because they've fought hard in most of those games, but when you think about a Bennett coach team, they always say, good defence, and they don't beat themselves. Well, this year on too many occasions, the Dolphins have beaten themselves with silly errors. And then even Bad the last discipline. three games... The three games that they won, I think they let in 28 points, 28 points, 30 points. That's not normally a Wayne Bennett... Coach side, and so he would have to be disappointed. What has gone Absolutely. wrong there then? If it's not, if it's not the fact that he signed with South mid-season, what is it? I, I think, think it's injuries. We've got Flegler, Pangai, and Wallace mm. played single figures all year. Flegler, and Flegler got injured around four or five. Did, and they'll, 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 they'll in the top. Another one that yeah. was gone for the he was season. Gone, Marshall but, King's but, been gone for a long while. But yeah. Gilbert and Flegler were gone early, yeah. and they were still coming fourth and red hot, or, or yeah. top four, or red hot around. Uh, Marshall around King's a big loss. I, I, what still, about I still think it's discipline. Like, if, if you watch enough of their games and you can go back to moments, I, I think, was it the Titans where they were leading? Was it at 12 0 yeah, or something yeah, like that yeah. coming into half time? And Josh Kerr gave a really ridiculous sin bin in a way. And I, I think he'd done that three weeks in a row. Yeah. And then you've got, you know, young Katoa will come out and not make a touch finder on a on a penalty and just things like that. Simple mistakes where guys are, are just letting themselves down too often, which just backfires on the team. But again, you go back to the fact that's not how Bennett coaches his team to play. Wayne Bennett's side, for the history of his whole career, what don't they do? They don't beat themselves. Yes. And this side's beating themselves. So there's something mm. on the training paddock that's gone. What about the fact it's an ageing forward pack? Enthusiasm yeah, they, they, goes okay, so far, though, yeah, Braith. But, they, but in the, the end, they did. They did. And he, you know, and and he enthusiasm only goes so it. far. And, and he, after a long he year... Can't make that as an excuse. I'm not so saying it's an excuse. What it's is a reason. Then? But it's an excuse. It's a reason But if why. you buy an ageing forward pack and then two years later go, well, they're an ageing forward pack... Well, do you think the age is playing an impact on the back okay. end of this year? Maybe uh, it is. The youth right. of a West Tigers forward pack is making more of an impact. Mm. Uh, you, you, you know, the old heads maybe get the is, job done. Maybe it is, but you done. can't use that yeah. because you bought those players. I'm not you... saying it's an excuse. I'm saying it's a reason, perhaps, yeah. why they're collapsing. Last year, they won three of their last 14... And as you said, Crawls, this year, three of their last mm. 12. Mm. So there's clearly a problem at the back end of the season. Well, I do th and I think age is playing a factor. I do think they lack depth in their roster. I think you've got to be fair. And, but every and, club and does. I know they do, yeah. but, but, but mm. some clubs more than others. And they are two years into their you know, existence. And there is a lack of depth there. And when you lose a guy like Gilbert and you lose a guy like Flegler and then Marshall King's injury is really yeah. rotten. Yeah. Fair but cool. I'll go back to the fact that I, I do believe they could have probably picked up three or four of those wins mm. with better discipline. Yeah.